Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we got a three-way battle between the Coach Willis, 18, the Coach Pillow Tabby, 18, and the coach beat crossbody clutch. Which handbag will reign dominant and supreme over the rest? We shall find out at the end of this video. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest, and fairest of all beings. Now before we hop into today's massive handbag battle video, if you guys love handbags, coach, fashion, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky YouTube Al Go Rhythm. To determine the winner of the handbag showdown between the Coach Willis, Beat Crossbody Clutch, and Pillow Tabby Shoulder Bag 18, we got some categories and ratings to go through. Now there is a total of four categories and each category has a rating of 10 points. And at the end of the video, we are going to tally up all of the points and see which handbag is the winner. The first category is design. Looking at the Coach Willis 18 top handle with quilting, this handbag is absolutely sickening and stunning. The construction and the design is just absolutely immaculate and unclockable. Everything about it is timeless. It definitely gets 10 out of 10 in the design category. The design is timeless. It has such a classic and vintage but modern look to it and I think it's definitely going to be a handbag that sticks around for a very long time. Then looking at the Pillow Tabby 18 shoulder bag, this one is also designed immaculately. The design is so stunning. You can just tell that they took their time designing and constructing this stunning piece. Especially when you open it up and just see how the craftsmanship is and everything. Like it just is a beautiful, beautiful bag. It's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. When you just see how beautifully the insides fold and the fact that they also made the coach tab here also like pillow, it, it's really awesome and I really like this bag. And then third up for design, we have the Beat Cross Body Clutch. I really like the design of this bag. I am definitely obsessed with it, but I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. When comparing to these two design styles, the pillow and the Willis, it just doesn't hold up as effortlessly. It's not as timeless as the other two are. As nice and beautiful as this is, please do not take this as I'm bashing this bag. I am not. I love this piece. The beats are amazing. Laura Linney. Category number two is functionality. Basically, how well does this purse function? Now, the Willis, eh, the functionality on the Willis is slightly lacking. Everything just kind of tumbles around in the purse, and you really gotta, it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You gotta just kind of like piece everything in, you gotta make sure everything's in correctly. You don't wanna scratch the inside of the leather. It can be a big pain in the butt sometimes, as much as I love it. But I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. I really feel like if they brought the front flap in, maybe, or the front uh, pocket in maybe just a little bit more and made it a little bit deeper, it'd be more functionable. But sadly, they didn't go with that route. And 
I find this purse a little hard to function. Like, it's a little hard to use sometimes. Now, the pillow tabby, it, on the other hand, is a little higher on the scale. I'm gonna give the pillow tabby a 9 out of 10, only because the functionality, it doesn't hold much, but when you do use it and you're, you got your things in it, it functions absolutely immaculately. I have no problems using this. And then the functionality of the beat crossbody, that is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The functionality of this purse is unmatched compared to these two purses next to me. When you open it up, you got like a front phone pocket, you got a decent enough pocket and multiple card slots and then uh, another slip pocket and then in the back there's another slip pocket so there is a lot of functionality and when this thing gets super full it doesn't bulge or anything it tend like because of the way it's built and the way it functions you can definitely overstuff it and it's not gonna really do anything to the purse and that's why it gets a 10 out of 10. It gets a perfect in the functionality category. It's just, it's great. It's a great purse. Let's raise. Woo! Let's go. Okay. To Mars, okay. as we go. Oh, get in, get in. Category number three, storage. How much does the bag hold and which one holds the most? So for me, the Willis is a nine out of 10 on the storage category. <sighs> Not perfect only due to the fact that, again, if they're, if things were a little more functionable, you'd be able to store things a little better. But it does hold the most out of the three here. And as you can see here, it fits a bit more. You can definitely add or subtract or, you know, do whatever you need to do. It holds quite a bit. But when you move on to the pillow tabby, it is definitely downgrading in the storage department. Six out of ten. You fit a phone, a small chapstick, your key case, and AirPods or a hand sanitizer. You're not fitting much in this. Or you take out your phone and you put in a couple other small things. So for the storage side, it's definitely lacking. But in the functionality aspect, it definitely makes up for that. And then we look at the Beat Crossbody, and it's not as bad as the Pillow Tabby, but it doesn't hold as much as the Willis. So when we do open it up again with the functionality, you're able to put the phone in the front pocket, you can fit keys, you can fit a card case, you can fit AirPods and hand sanitizer, plus maybe a small knickknack or something. So it definitely holds a bit more than the pillow tabby, but not as much as the Willis. Open your purse. And for the final category, it is versatility. How versatile is the bag? So for the Willis, the versatility is really high due to the fact that the hoops are on the back and it makes for a very secure crossbody and shoulder bag. When you have like uh, it as a crossbody, you can definitely put like a twilly on top of the handle or something to add an extra oomph. So that also adds to the versatility points. And then on top of it, there is also an individual hoop here for whatever you want. And it's awesome. As you can see, you can even put the beat crossbody chain on it and it just looks perfect. I'm sure there is a lot more. And I mean a lot more you can do with this purse. And due to the fact that the hoops are just right in that sweet spot of not too big, but not too small either, you can put a really large hoop or a really large piece on here. And it's not going to damage the bag either. So you got the really small one and the really big one. 10 out of 10 for the versatility. It, this, compared to the rest, unmatched. Absolutely unmatched. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Now for the versatility of the pillow tabby, it does take a slight decline only due to the fact, A, it is pillow. It is pillow, so when taking into the account of large clips, it you're gonna damage the pillow. You don't want to use a big clip on this. So it's definitely not as versatile right off the bat. As well, when we take the beat crossbody chain, it also takes a slight dip because you can't add any, you can't hook it on. The chain or the hoop is just too big for the small crossbody chain, which really sucks because this would look so stunning, but it doesn't fit. Now where the it does lack in that area, it does make up due to the fact these are thicker hoops. Like you can fit a few more things on here rather than like two little clips or something, so... Like, they're a little bigger than the Willis, so you can fit a little bit more on there. So, this gets an 8 out of 10 for versatility. And then for the Beat Crossbody Clutch, versatility is also on the lower side. I'm going to also give it an 8 out of 10. It does suffer... It, it's kind of the exact opposite of the pillow tabby, in which the pillow tabby has thicker tabs. This one has smaller ones. And with the smaller ones, you can't really do too much with them. Yeah, they fit like all of the hooks and everything, but you can only have like just like a chain or a charm and then the bag strap itself. So it is eight out of 10. And now that brings us to the totals. The point totals for each bag. The point total for the Coach Willis top handle 18 with quilting is 36 out of 40. The total point count for the Coach Pillow Tabby shoulder bag 18 is 33. And then lastly, the Beat Cross Body Clutch point total is 34 out of 40. The Coach Willis does win the handbag battle by a couple points. Uh, I can't blame it. I can't. The numbers don't lie. It's a gorgeous bag. I love it to absolute bits and pieces. Uh, I think if this thing was had just a little bit more room in it, it could make up for the points, but... You can't win, not every bag can be everything, right? So that's why I like having multiple bags. You can switch anything up you want. Anyways, what's your favorite bag out of three? And do you agree with my point system? Anyways, I'm going to show y'all a sickening outfit of the day. There could be a hundred people in a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you but all you need is just for one person to believe there can be a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred 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 people a hundred people a hundred people a hundred people a hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred people hundred 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 or a thousand nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine there can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and nine be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and 99 99 99 don't believe in you there can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and 99 99 don't 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 believe in you there can be a hundred people in the room in the room in the room and 99 99 99 99 don't don't a hundred people and there can be in one room Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's first official handbag showdown video. It's definitely different and new. I've had this idea festering about and then I had a couple people be like, well, you know, you should do some comparison videos with some of your smaller handbags. And I thought this would be a nice way to introduce that. Anyways, 
If you guys did enjoy today's video, please hit the subscribe button. If you are new, hit that like button. Share with your friends and family and comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's showdown video as well. Check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Uh, bye! <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't. I'm done. I'm done. No, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over.